Today is a pretty, uh, gonna be a different video than usual. I need to bring this, because the one I, you can't go out that way. No. No, you can't go. Can you go? Anyway, anyway, anyway. Also, we're up to number 11 at this point. There's another one, I think, because there's poop there. I know I got rid of them. Focus, camera, focus on the light. Does that, does that look familiar? So if those of you don't remember, I made a video. It was a joke video about, I, about because devious slicks were around at the time. So I made a joke that I was, I was, you know, essentially stealing this car. But in reality, I was actually borrowing it because I was fixing my car at the time. Now, I am going around, I am going around and cleaning it because this car is disgusting. And I mean disgusting. Actually, I got stuff from the TikTok shop, not sponsored. We're going to be trying the Moxie stuff. Um, there's another car I'm gonna be cleaning, but uh, I, I figured I'd do this one right now because this one was around at this time where I can get it. Um, it needs a little bit of work. Um, for some reason, this light only works if you, for some reason, this light only works if you click on the button. I bought brand new bulbs for it, thinking that they were busted, but they work like this. And come to find out, you have to take this whole thing down to get to the bulbs because Ford doesn't know how to engineer shit. This needs to be fixed. The radio works. Well, now they're in. It's just the screen is blank. Looking into that, it can. It just looks like the solders are not connected anymore. Luckily, I believe I have a soldering solder here so that I can probably do it. So I might be doing that. It needs to be cleaned. I don't know what else needs to be done. And it has one more other problem. The exhaust in this thing is mint. And it's got codes for some reason for airbags and this, but I th think that can be fixed. But there's no airbag light on. Um, and it has a bit of dents and scratches in it. Um, we're gonna try to find some. It's got a couple scratches there. I think the bumper might have some. A little bit over here. Um, the big thing I really would like to do is get this dent out. Can't, I'm not going to be able to do anything with this scratches. I don't think I'm going to be able to get the scratches out of the bumper because it's plastic. Um, I, uh, I'm not going to get the hood things even though it don't, doesn't support it anymore. This car has been off and on, off and on. It's been, it will, there's times where it will sit for a little bit. There's times where it will go. And if anything, if it's been run, it's probably been run for about a day or so. Um, mostly, it, it, it's been fr probably from around 20, probably a little bit after COVID or during COVID. Either bef like right before COVID or like a little bit during COVID, that car has basically been sitting, only driven a couple times. Um, it was my grandmother's. She drove it freaking everywhere. I'm shocked it doesn't have more miles than it does on it. And then it sat a while when she got a new car, so that sat. And then my grandfather has been dri was has been driving it, but he doesn't really been he hasn't really been driving that. He hasn't he normally drives his other car. He used that mainly as like a truck, but not a truck. Um, so that thing since now, this is probably the farthest it's driven in a while. This thing has been probably sitting for. A good three, four, three-ish months, four-ish months, mainly. It's got a brand new battery in it. It has been sitting, uh, it's been, probably been sitting since around May, April. Now, unfortunately, my grandfather did pass away, so um, I'm cleaning it up, detailing it out, and it's actually going to one of my cousins. But obviously, I need, to, I want to fix some of the stuff that's on it now before giving it to him. Like the radio, I would like to get fixed. The dome, I'd like to get fixed, and just really clean it up and get that. That at least get the dent out or attempt to get the dent out. The scratches I'm not too worried about. C mainly because they're deep scratches and I have to paint it and I'll get paint for that. Well and you know since I need to go to Walmart. Why not take this? 
I'm dreading this part right now. Yeah. I'm not gonna get weird looks at all. Oh my God, there's a cop that's gonna drive by. This is gonna suck. Got what I needed. Honestly forgot, I thought I needed something else. And I got this because it was $7.50 instead of $15. Sick, my headlights are here. For the cherry burst, you're supposed to use it. You, I mean, you probably use it normally, but you're but you're supposed to use it with a foam cannon. I don't know where my foam cannon went for my pressure washer, and I've been meaning to buy a new one because it low-key kind of sucks. So I'm just gonna put a little bit into a into there, and then fill it up. But it's gonna be connected to my thing, so it's gonna be very foamy, I guess. I'm gonna take off the thing so it's not so. You know. This is gonna take a while. Hey. Oh. I got a question. That's the new pressure washer that they're talking about? Uh, oh, you got to the uh, water the, hose. So, oh, yeah, it's, it's a Ryobi. Yeah, yeah, because I saw one that you put in the back. Of the yeah? Is, yeah, a little bit of water. I don't know how it works. No, because you are shooting the water out and where you know, you're going to get more water. You know? Yep. Freaking guys probably wondering why I have a camera. Nah. I was gonna do a thumbnail, but then the UPS truck came. So I guess I'll do one now. Okay, on time lapse. Even without even using it, it's very foamy. Alright, day two of cleaning this. We cleaned the outside of it a lot yesterday. Now we're going to be cleaning the inside. I'm going to go as far as I can. I do have to work later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be vacuuming it up first. Vacuuming with the floors, getting as much stuff as I can. I don't know what's underneath the seats and whatnot. Then I'm going to go and go with our carpet cleaner and vacuum and clean the carpets out that way and get the regular junk out. Dang! And then I think that's probably going to be it for today. If I, <clears throat> cause I'm not going to have that much time. I should have done this earlier today. Oh, I forgot to put my watch in when I was upstairs. Mm. Tomorrow, I might use some of that Moxie Turbo APC on the inside to get to clean it, to detail it on the inside. Because that stuff, I've seen some videos of it being worked on the interior, and it, it works pretty good. Before we continue on with the video, i just like to point out that this many people are not subscribed. You need to subscribe right now. I have a bunch of videos that are ready to be edited and uploaded. In fact, I recorded a Roblox video. Here's a little sneak peek of that, just for you. 
update I've never played. I don't know who this guy is. I just know these dudes. Why? This dude just got this dude got lobotomized. What the heck? Oh, oh, that dude is huge. So if you want to see that Roblox video, be sure to subscribe right now. Let's go move this son of a bitch. I did try to put wash fluid in it, but I forgot that the washer fluid housing is cracked. I'm not putting one of those in. One thing I will say about the Turbo APC is I used it on the headlights, the fog lights, and these little marker lights. It actually made these look brand new. Well, not yellow, but just a little foggy. I don't know how they look like back in the day, I don't remember. But these aren't yellow anymore. It actually made the headlights a little bit clearer. The fog lights got a kind of little bit, they're just not as yellow, but I have some stuff I'm gonna try on the headlights to make them look new. So, I, these, this actually works really well to get yellowing off. I'm actually gonna use it on these, because they're disgusting. See how well the Turbo APC does against this. Look, kind of like new. Normally you should dilute this stuff, but I've lately just kind of been using it normal. I'm probably going to use it normal. I should have got the leather cleaner, but I have regular leather cleaner I'll just use, I think. Unless I have to go and get those too. But I'm definitely going to use the APC on like... Do I want to use it on the steering wheel? Because that's also leather. I might use it on the steering wheel. I might not. I'm not too sure. I'm definitely using it on like this. In there. In there. On there. Let's get the yellowing off. See how well it works. Look at how well the Turbo APC worked on the buttons. This is how good, I need something like this for my keys. Because mine are also kind of yellow. This, it took the gum and grime off and it almost restored the whiteness. I'm gonna actually spray it one more time because there's a little junk around it and see how that turns out. You know, this would make a pretty cool workbench. I would totally like make a makeshift, like maybe like take some, something like this off and like stick it to the wall. So that you can close the shelf, and then when you want to use it, you can open it. That'd be pretty dope. Cleaner, but this bun's a little sticky. I could probably clean that though. Okay, scratch this card because I have to put these on first. Well, that took a lot of time that I thought it would. And I don't really have the time anymore to vacuum it, so I guess I'm going to hold that off until tomorrow. I think I found the nest. Welcome back to day, well, I guess I'm going to count this as part day two, part two, but it's really day three me off right now and you're i'm listening you're into my airpod speakers and the airpod 2 speakers suck one thing that's ticking me off right now and i don't even know how i didn't notice it before is that and it's with this camera i raved about it in the last vlog about because it takes really good photos but it, it it's not even focusing on my face it's i'm literally in front of it and it's focusing on the background and i'm like slightly blurry how did i not see that if i had a sony a series which is the camera I really want to upgrade to because it looks exactly like the point and shoot and it's a DSLR and it and I like like I can do that myself that's the one thing I miss about using my my rebel t3 is that I can control that so that I can be clear I need that in my life I also need another microphone for this so that I can use this microphone for when I do stuff like this because the airpod Pro microphones could not suck more and I don't know how to figure out how to work from like this, from Final Cut to using my iPhone microphone like this. I haven't figured it out yet. Uh, I thought I had to go to work tomorrow, but I read the dates wrong. It's actually next month. I can't read. And I was going to continue on after I came home, but I was embarrassed and I had quite a shitty day after that. So I didn't even bother recording again. But let me tell you what I did fix since then. I did the headlights. I think I showed you it though. I'm not too sure. I did the headlights. The headlights actually look clear. Well, the one side does. The one side doesn't look as good as that side does. The one that I'm pointing at. But it's good enough. Don't even know if I put this in. I might have done it 
don't know. I fixed all three wipers because all three wipers need to be fixed. I had all three, I thought, but the one that I had, I don't even know if I put it back. I think I put it back. One more thing I forgot to mention that I fixed. Well, I didn't really forget to mention because I kind of ended the video before because I, you know, the whole, you'll, you'll see at the point of why, um, at the end of the video, why it's, I, the video feels unfinished, but I had to change the hinges to the glass for the back door because I went to go open it and it just, it just disintegrated. So that was fun to f try to finagle and fix. I put it somewhere, but it wasn't the right fit, so I actually just went out earlier before and got another wiper and fixed that, so it's got brand new wipers. And I actually, last night, was hunting around to fix the radio, because I think I said it in the beginning of the video that the radio was butt broken. After figuring out that I had a soldering gun here, which would have been useful years ago. Not only did we have one soldering gun, we had two. And doing some research, I just re-soldered some old circuits and it works again. So I'm in the process of putting that back together. Here's the mess of it so far. Oh, I guess that kind of works. <laughs> I might have to watch the video I watched yesterday to do this, but um, I should be fine. It's got four uh, seven millimeter bolts holding it together right here and here to make four. So I'm just tying them back up. Don't make fun of me. Oh, oh, I didn't, oh, I pulled one cable. I unplugged the top thing, which is just a thing saying about the airbag, but in order to put this back where I need to put it, I need to put it in gear and put it all the way back. Not a big deal, but I'm afraid if I plug this in with the battery on, I might set the airbag light off, airbags off, which I don't think will happen. Can you see the radio? At least you can see the radio work in action again. I can't tell the last time I saw that. Oh, there we go. All right, I connected it. Let's put the battery back on and pray that the airbags don't go off. Okay, so yeah, obviously I didn't finish the vlog of me showing off how do I clean the rest of it because I'm kind of on a time crunch for reasons that I will may definitely probably make a vlog about. So I did finish it off and I actually swapped it out for another car, but I'm not gonna get that done until like next week. I'm not gonna start until next week. Um, I probably won't record myself cleaning that car. I don't know. Probably won't. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Am I missing my... Wait, 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 wait. Like, new problem? So I have to charge my battery for tomorrow and whatnot.
So thank you guys for watching. The Moxie stuff actually worked really well. I'm going to leave a link in the description to the website so you can get it off there. Um, if I can, I'm going to try to link the TikTok shop one that I got. I got it from the TikTok shop, so I'm going to try to also link the TikTok shop too. They got crazy deals, I think, for TikTok shop. I'm not too sure if they're still going on right now, but I got it for like half off, basically. It was... They're, it, the bundle's usually $80. I got it for like $40. Um, so with that, thank you guys for watching. Click on the videos to uh, to watch. Probably click on my face at this point to, you know, you know the whole thing. And I will see you next time.